you guys? Cameron Rutschen here. Welcome back to Factions Base Tour. It's uh, it's Saturday, of course. It's it's great to see you. Thanks for tuning in to this series every single Saturday. Today we are on the Archon, of course, and we are touring a Factions Base here on Orange, uh, built by the faction Blood Oath. They are top of the F list right now. Um, it's going to be hard to top last week's base. If you missed last episode, it was insane, like a billion dollar base with so much bedrock and like loot and it was it was huge but this thing this base has a, a cool idea to it so keep in mind the name blood oath if you guys want to apply to be on the factions base tour series have your base toured big or small or i'm gonna try and look for different types of bases from here on out as well so if you got a cool idea go for it and leave your comment down below on this episode telling me what faction you are what your username is and i will go uh check it out and you could be you, you could see your base on the next episode with that in mind let's get started so the base is not massive it's uh it's decently large we'll we'll start with the interior today one thing they do have though is uh a Decent amount of prop four, decent amount of dubs, as these big bases usually do. If you have a good base, over time, the loot just eventually stops or starts stocking up, obviously. That's kind of how it works because no one can raid you. So, pretty standard storage area, and then they've got their probably, I assume these are their drop off chests, and very easy to access and organize right away. Uh, yeah, they've got all these chests for raiding slash drop off. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I, I hate sorting gear while I'm raiding because you just want to throw it all in the chest so you can go back and get more loot because you don't want to waste any time you can do that afterwards so you don't miss out on uh, extra loot in the base up here uh, lo lots of levels they, they use one ladder nice and simple again not the biggest base but nice and simple uh, decent amount of spawners nothing crazy they got they have they have the variety though one thing with the you know the update on the the Archon economy is it's not OP for just one spawner or farm anymore. Everything you use can make uh, good money if, if you do it in the right way, and you can conserve space with some, etc. So here they've got the golems. They've got the, the blaze spawners on this side. They have even more up top, I think. I don't think they have pigmen right now. they got an AFK machine with the glass. Again, standard. Here. my f Oh, I kind of showed you a little bit there, but this is my favorite part. This is the the coolest thing so keep in mind blood oath right what comes to mind it's like blood oath i think like underground hellish uh I, I don't know just a bit creepy in general well as you climb up this ladder that theme kicks in right away they've got like the royal blood oath walkway red carpet nether fire it's it's like you're going to the devil's throne or something creepy like that but it, it plays in with the the blood oath uh, theme so well and this leads to their bedrock board of rules and and uh, again a sign of organization the bedrock is a sign of uh, richness and wealth and they've got 10 different things such as make sure we got an alt AFK all the time take blazes down they're very safe with that make sure they check the walls try to make a lot of money and love each other love <laughs> love is the most important thing if you don't have love well what do you have apparently nothing according to these guys and up here again they make very good use of their space having a small base is sometimes uh a good thing instead of having this massive base the smaller it is the tougher it is to get to it's a it's a smaller target that's that's just with anything if, if you got a small target it's harder to hit uh, up here, they also have combined in. They got their potion. It looks automatic-ish. You guys know I'm not the best with potions, but uh, a quick brewing station automatic and then a place to store their pots uh, ready to go at any time. If they need pots, they're here. You're good. Get ready to battle. And last thing over here, like I said, they have a, a variety of spawners. They also take advantage of cow spawners. So they have cow, blaze, and golems right now being uh completely active and i think their cows seem to be the focus they they, they have an AF, i guess they have an afk machine up here and down there and that really is the interior of the base it, it is a small interior usually we're used to these massive interiors but again i'm gonna change it up a little bit we're on factions orange this is one of the best bases and i couldn't get over the interior theme it's it's such a cool idea let's head to the outside and see what's going on Another unique aspect to this base is the they they took a risk here. They went all in. 
they are not on any border, any corner. They're right in the middle of the the end here. Uh, standard interior defense. They got one wet wall here and then one dry wall just to protect against cannoning from outside. And yeah, you can see it, it's completely surrounded. It takes so much more time. Like you guys know, if you get a corner base, that saves you half of the work on the walls. That is a lot of time. You know how much time has to go into those walls. It's a good amount. So if you can take away half of it, you're good. But these guys, they went all in four walls and uh, we'll head out there now. Therefore, you can see the gap is not big. Doing this is a, is a disadvantage because you have to put more claims on it first of all. And uh, that's the big thing. You run out of claims really when you do it this way because if you have the corner, you also don't have to claim as much uh, gap area. So it, it is a disadvantage. I don't know why they, they didn't build it in the corner or on the border because ev basically every faction base we see on this series, you see them on, on the border or whatnot. Um, they, they said they're not completely done the base yet, but as for walls, they've got about five walls, some big ocean. This isn't really the standard anymore. They, they're still going to be working on it, I was told. They're going to keep increasing it. We'll ask them about that in the upcoming clip here. But yeah, as of now, this this used to be the standard for the Archon. You know, four to five walls, decent source ocean, and it takes a good amount of time to wither. But now on the Archon, it is countless walls. Like, it is, it's, you can't render in the entire walls. It's like, there could be like a whole city within the walls. But either way, this is still a good defense. You're going to need a decent factions player to get through these walls it, it it does take a lot of time like i don't know i don't know if i could put that much time into it man it would it would still take hours to to take care of these walls but regardless uh quick 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 start here it's a unique base i like the interior and i don't know why they didn't put it on the border but i mean it's a risk and maybe it'll work for them before we jump in a call with these guys, I'm going to, I, I always ask you, what do we name the base? So what do you guys want to name this base? Leave it in the comments below and I will choose a comment and shout it out next episode. With that in mind, the last episode, Pony Bro Games was the winner and he said, call the base the Lamb Brock Guinea. <laughs> it's as expensive as a Lambo and it also has all that bedrock and it's uh it's so designer in the inside. That was creative. 25 likes, not bad, man. I loved it. Lamb Brock Guinea. You guys know that thing was worth like 1.1 billion dollars. Uh I don't think Lambos are worth that much, but <laughs> it's uh I guess in comparison, uh one of the richest bases compared to one of the richest cars. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for all your comments. And with that in mind, let's go meet the people in charge of this base. Moving into a call with uh, the beautiful members who, who own this base. We're in a call right now with Shatter, uh, Gods PvP, and Draft Dogs. What does that mean? Is that, is that like a dog with a long neck? What, what, how did you come up with this random name, Draft Dogs? Just random, bro. Just random, dude. All right. A weird obsession or something? Good. That's what I like to see. Either way, you guys have a beautiful base. Thanks for letting me tour it today. And as usual, I always like to come in, meet the people in charge, and uh, learn a couple things, I guess. So with that in mind, uh, I guess we'll get started. A couple generic questions. How long has, has this base been alive? All right, so this base has been live two, two to three weeks at least. Two to three weeks, okay, okay, that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's an adult base. How, how much time did you guys put into the base? Did you work on it as a team or just one or two guys? How, how did that all play out? All right, so we all put a little work into the walls, the base, everything practically. It took about at least four days to do the walls and the interior and okay. store everything practically. Okay, good, 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 four days. But you all worked as a team, you know, you had fun, had a you know, couple drinks of juice or something while you were doing it, and just had a good time while you were building, I, I assume. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> good, man, that's what it's about, having fun. All right, cool. Now kind of into the more specific questions. So has anyone tried to raid this base? Obviously, it hasn't been raided, but has anyone attempted, gotten close, etc.? Actually, we have some people on the walls. I don't know if you can see them, but they're trying to cannon, I believe. Oh, they're cannoning. Uh, we've been holding them down, blowing up their Calvin monster and everything, so yeah. Dang, dude. All right, okay, so you're not nervous. You're going to take care of them. No, oh, yeah. we patrol the walls at about 30 minutes a day. I mean, every 30 minutes we patrol the walls for about okay. an hour. Okay, you got like a scheduled patrol. Good, alright, that's, that's what I like to hear. A good faction is always organized. Awesome. And based on the server, because if I type in F-List, uh, Blood Oath, you guys are top of the F-List, uh, 
probably one of the best bases on orange, if not the best. Are you are you guys loved? Do you have lots of allies? What is the general thought towards you and your faction? Oh, we're hated. Mm. You're oh, hated. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Straight up, the like everyone hates you. Yeah, everyone always yes. comes out in chat and everything. They don't like us at all. Oh, and why is that? Like, are, are you guys like dictators of the server? Or what? We're really cocky. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Very, it's very also honest. You know how to play. All right, so you know how to play. You're cocky, and because of that. Yeah, yeah, well, I see. It. Who hates? Who hates Blood Oath? Me, 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 me. Oh my God, man. Dude, I feel bad, and you guys are okay with this? You just let it happen? Yeah, that is bad, man. Block out the haters. Yep, yep. Block out the haters, dude. All right, and what? Uh, who's like your main end? Do you have a main enemy? Um, people say evolve. Maybe uh, they talk a lot of trash, and they believe they can raid us, but they can't raid us. They're on the walls back three right now, probably. Evolve. And yeah, we raided them. They base maybe three times last week. So. Oh, you like, raided them something. three times last. Big base or just little vaults here and there? What's it been like? Put it like this, 12 dubs back week. 12 each base. dubs. And obviously you guys are very rich, so you get most of your gear from raiding, not not just PvPing. Where do you get most of this gear from? Because you got a lot of dubs. Uh, yeah, we, we, we raid. raid a lot. And, you know, I'm the only Abby donor in here, which is the $300.50 rank on Orange. So, yeah, yeah, thank so... you for that, by the way. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, yeah, and you do the raiding, the PvP. Good, good to hear, dude. Well, you guys got it set up here. I like it. I love, honestly, the, the actual theme of the base. You know, Blood Oath. And then you get up to the top floor here, and it, it's it got that feel of, a, you know, a creepy kind of scary pathway with the nether. I like what you did about that. The interior is very cool. And I know you, you guys got a lot more plans for this base in the future, right? Yeah, yeah, the walls aren't even halfway done. Okay, like, the walls. Alright, cool. So yeah, I kind of came in early. You guys were, they, they were thinking of applying next week, but I found them before anything, which is, uh, which is good. I'm glad I found you guys. Thanks for letting me tour your base. It's a beauty. And, uh, I hope to see you around the Archon. Thanks for playing, guys. Thank you, Ramble, so much. Alright, right, right, take care. Every day. Oh, I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Give me, give me an internet hug. Oh, oh, that's just right. Come here. Come here. Come here, Draft. Come here, draft. Oh, man. Young love. <laughs> All right, dude. Take care, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the results, the calculations are in because I just did them. Here we go. So, based on 10 Iron Golem spawners, 30 Cow spawners, 21 Blaze spawners, 5 Pigmen spawners, 20 Dubs of Prop 4, 6 Stacks of Gapples, 90 Bedrock, and $4 million worth of miscellaneous items. The total value of the Blood Oath base here on Factions Orange is... 69,730,000 dollars! Woohoo! Congratulations, uh, guys. Again, nothing compared to the 1 billion. Keep in mind, that was OP Factions. A uh, little bit of a different economy, for sure. Uh, but yeah, this is... Very, very well done. Uh, 69 million, it's, you know, that's kind of ironic, that's a funny number. Uh, no, it's good. Uh, it's a smaller base, they're still working on it, of course, but, again, uh, the average for these normal bases is probably around three, two to three hundred, so they're doing alright, I like it. I'm looking for more unique bases, make sure to apply down below. Thank you for your support on this series, on my channel, and towards my server. If you want to play factions, join pvp.thearchon.net. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Touch that like button if you did. Join the rush by subscribe. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.